What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In that What's up guys, before we get into the video, I wanna let you guys know you guys can purchase one of these really cool 5D Wonder Boy prints right now. And you know what? If you purchase one of these bad boys, I will sign it and you get VIP access to a Zoom call with me directly after USC 254, 6.30 p.m. Eastern with me. And we get to talk about the fight, ask me any questions you want. So make sure you guys go to the link in the description below, boom. Get you one of these bad boys today. Now let's get into our picks. Uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Well, I guess it's kind of like a Technique Tuesday. We're gonna be doing our UFC 254 main event fight picks. Over here on my right, I got my man Sensei Seth. Mm. On my left, I got my man Houston Jones and Sweet T. By the way, these guys are on YouTube channels. If you haven't checked them out yet, go check them out. Subscribe to their channels. Thank these you. dudes are awesome. Links to their channels will be in the description. So. UFC 254, Khabib versus Gaethje, Justin Gaethje. Sensei Seth, who you got? Khabib or Justin Gaethje? Uh, I'm gonna take Justin Gaethje. Oh, okay. okay. I'll give it a 3-2. So you think he wins three out of the three, five rounds? Three rounds, manages to stay standing for the majority of three rounds, and then just kind of like, kind of moves him around the ring with his striking. Okay. I think that it will be planetary destruction for sure. Mm, oh, planetary. But, but I don't think it's enough to like finish Gaethje. Okay. And I think that he gets taken down two rounds, stays there for the end of the round, but doesn't get finished. Wow. So you think you think Justin Gaethje's takedown defense is up to par. Up to par. To keep. Well, it's got to be above par. Above par. <laughs> Way to out. keep Way, or below, uh, the fight it's standing. Better. To keep Khabib off him, to keep the fight standing off. Yeah, super brave. For three, three, of the, rounds. three of the five rounds. Three of the five wow. rounds. Wow, okay. It's very specific, I know, but, you know. <laughs> they call yeah, me that's like round by round. It's like, yeah. Yeah. this is yeah, definitely going to be bad. even went to like, you know, he's going to get up at the end of the third round <laughs> and be okay. So watch this. Round four, what will happen is he'll catch Khabib with something, and he's not going to be able to take him around down for the next two rounds. Dude, watch uh -huh. this actually happen. Yeah, How crazy. nutty would that be? So he's got Justin Gaethje. If that All doesn't right. happen, he's going to get tactical whipped. That's right. That's happening. Yeah. <laughs> A tactical whip. Uh, Houston <laughs> Jones, <laughs> Justin Gaethje, or Khabib. Okay, so I'm not going to pretend that I'm like the end all be all on the knowledge on this, but if I had to take a pick, I would go with Khabib. I'm a big grappler guy. Khabib was able to take McGregor down, who's a world class striker, you know, so I'm going to go with Khabib just for that fact, just for his ground game. I alone. like it. I like it. I'm kind of leaning towards that as well. Sweet tea! I think go a lot of it. people are going that route. When people say who's going to win a fight, and you kind of have this conflict inside. It's like, who do you think is going to win versus who do you want, want to win? win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Right? right? So you're constantly battling that. Logically, it could be. He's got the relentless pressure. He's got the grappling for days. And he's got some striking too. I mean, yeah. not Conor McGregor. He, not, he yeah. rocked Conor. So he, he's not afraid to throw his hands and use those to set up his supreme takedowns. And his ground control is... Second to none. Yeah. yeah. Keeping people there is yeah. his specialty. But, but the thing when you people fight Khabib, in my opinion, they go in with one mindset. Like, I just got to defend the takedown. Mm -hmm. Not about me going in and doing and what I'm good you. at. Yeah. Right. And beating you, taking the fight to Khabib. It's about let me just stop the takedown at all costs mm -hmm. and survive. Gaethje's right, yeah. crazy enough to go in there and be like, Put, I'm putting whatever. you in my world, I'm bro. throwing as hard as I can. That's what and I'm that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Gaethje's not going to be in the mindset of, oh, don't get smashed. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's going to be, I'm going to go impose my will. I'm going to do my thing for better or worse and go fight this dude. And everybody yeah. talks about, you know, Justin Gaethje's his wrestling and his takedown defense. But you don't get to see a whole lot of it in this fight because he likes to keep the fight standing. Mm. This is what we're going to see. It, is it good enough? Is he the wrestler everybody thinks he is? For me... I think Khabib is going to win it. It's very difficult to pick against somebody who's only lost one round his entire career, pretty much. Do you guys think, though, Justin's game plan going in is going to try to keep it standing, not go to the ground with him? What are the odds you think he's going to allow to play a ground game? You know what? Match? I think the guy's crazy enough to actually try and take Khabib down. <laughs> yeah, I, so. okay. I really do think that. And, yeah. and I think that's the last thing Khabib would ever think, Yeah. right? It's somebody true. trying to take him down. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can break people's wills that way. Yeah. You go out there and take him down the first round, he's like, you gotta rethink his whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was my game plan. Yeah. Right? If it was me and I had a lot better wrestling than I do, that would be kind of it. Like, you know, throw throw a curveball uh -huh. out there. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I guess my official pick is still Khabib. But so. I'm open to an upset. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm open. I'm open for that. And I, I hate to say it because uh, you know you see guy win so much. Mm -hmm. It's like you know you kind of want to see it, you know if he, if he's human. Yeah. yeah. You know, is this guy human? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Where where looks a weakness. Exactly. Yeah. And how does he handle that adversity? Exactly. I right? think that makes him human. Makes him more. Uh, uh, you relatable. Know, acceptable, relatable, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. See how so. he handles it. Round four is going to be crazy. I'll take them both on, and, you know, they both break all their limbs. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm joking. So that's who I got. I got, I got Khabib. <laughs> Would love to see an upset. My man, my man, Sensei Seth's got Justin Gaethje. It's breaking it down here. round by round. Round he by said, round. watch out for the fourth round. So, <laughs> watch out for the fourth <laughs> round. We'll see what happens. My man, Houston Jones, going for my man, Khabib. Sweet tea, going for Khabib. But I feel like... You want to see an upset as well. I, I'm a big fan of the underdog, and Gaethje's one of those guys he's hard not to love because he gives everybody what they truly want to see. The guy Carnage. almost gets knocked out every round and comes back to win fights. Yes, yeah. incredible. Yeah. He yeah. is. Ridiculous. I wish I had that hard of a head for sure. <laughs> Until you're about 40 or 50 and you can't really <laughs> yeah, <play YouTube>. yeah. <laughs> Well, that's it, guys. You got your picks. Type in your picks down in the comments below who you got winning. All right, I want to know. Hit that subscribe button, and of course, Ring that bell for notification, notifying you guys when we got our next upload headed your way. We love you guys. Catch you guys on the flip side. See ya. Peace.